Hi you guys, so today's video we're going to be showing you a total of 8 Barbie dolls. I have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Barbie dolls, um, a Lika Chan, and a superhero action figure. I don't really do action figures on this channel, so that's pretty rare. So, let's get started. First, we're going to be taking a look at Scooby-Doo Barbie. If you guys got that vibe when, um, whenever I was, I, got, I left you guys a little clue. So this was a collaboration with um, Cartoon Network and Mattel. Believe it or not, Cartoon Network was the first to release the Scooby-Doo Barbie doll. So, and then later on, they released Scooby-Doo 1 and Scooby-Doo 2. And um, they released these Daphne dolls. She's got a model muse body. She's got real stockings. And she's got a pair of pumps. The Scooby-Doo looks to be like a plastic Scooby-Doo with that velvety stuff. Remember that old Tommy stuff that they used to do a long time ago? She's got this really great um, zombie background. And of course, she's holding some Scooby stacks. She's so cute. And this was a collaboration between Cartoon Network and Mattel. You can see Cartoon Network made this Barbie doll with Mattel. Um, it's very much a likeness of the character from the series. This is the only doll. I mean, they did the whole... I mean, they did pretty much all of them, you guys. I chose this to buy Daphne because she's my favorite character. I don't need, necessarily need to complete the whole set to have a um, Scooby-Doo thing, I guess. I don't know. Just Daphne was my favorite character. So, she's got a little cute headband. She's very, very reminiscent of the character in the movie. So, in the series, actually. This was based off of that cartoon that, that used to be years ago. Very, very similar. And again, let me know which one you like in the comments down below. So this is uh, Barbie as Scooby-Doo Daphne from Cartoon Network. So she's a Cartoon Network brand. Let's see what year she was, you guys. She was from, we don't know. I like to tell you guys the years because it's easier to find the dolls if you know the year. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just like, okay. Wow, okay, it says Hasbro Barbie and Cartoon Network collaborated with this. Okay, I don't know. Oh, it's um 2002. So this Barbie doll was made in 2002. This is a collaboration with Cartoon Network, Mattel, and Hasbro all combined. I don't know if Hasbro owns the license in for Scooby-Doo, but this is her. She's gorgeous. And again, you guys, she does have a model muse body, which means it's permanently... Got that kink leg. I don't know how they did it, but years ago, 2002, they had a model muse body. So that's a pretty good fact. Um, I'm going by what I've seen off of eBay, the uh, photos anyway. So this is Daphne from Scooby-Doo. And next we have another Daphne, which was the first Scooby-Doo um, that was released with the movie series, I guess you could say. Like a movie type series, which is really, really cute. This is a Daphne from the uh, based off of the character uh, from the uh, movie that used to be years ago, and she's got this really cute like jacket over over thing, and she's got the mysteries machine. There's a plush Scooby Doo right there, and she does have her Scooby snacks. They just kind of fell to the bottom. And there's the clue. Remember that little box thing that was from the movie? That's really really cool. And I think she does have Scooby Snacks in there somewhere. I'm sure it just fell to the bottom. This girl has the click knees. And she's got the like 2000s Barbie face definitely. I'm imagining that this was made in 2000 something also. Um, don't know. Yeah, 2001. She's got a very 2000 Barbie face. You can kind of see. Very, very cute. Barbie as Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Very, very cute, right? We love a good Scooby-Doo Barbie. If you got any questions, any comments, leave them down below. Also, I'd love to hear from you guys. And this is... Who else I got? And this is Barbie as Scooby-Doo. Barbie as Daphne from Scooby-Doo 2. They did another one for Scooby-Doo 2 with this crochet thing. This is some good quality. I mean, Mattel doesn't even do stuff like this anymore. This is real crocheted material. Real pants, and she's got a pair of boots, and there's a Scooby-Doo again with the uh, crushed velvet. I mean, you could just tell the difference between a plush stuffed animal and a posable figure. This is definitely a posable figure with like a crushed velvet situation happening. And I think she had Scooby stocks at one time packaged up there. Of course, everything just falls to the bottom. There's some, there's a Scooby stocks on the bottom, and there's a book on the bottom also. Um, it's just some, something that happens. This is based off of a uh, star of Michelle Geller who played Daphne and the character Scooby-Doo. So it's the one with the coat. This is the actual clothing that she wore from the movie, which is really, really cool. 
I think this is awesome. And this is Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. Daphne. <clears throat> very, very cute, right? And next we got some superhero dolls. We have Poison Ivy. Very, very cute Poison Ivy Barbie doll. Um, she has a bendy wire body, which is really, really incredible. She's got real stockings and real boots. Like, it's real cloth boots. There's none of that molded on stuff, which is great. Um, back in the day, you guys can tell actually made costumes for their Barbies. They didn't do molded on anything. So, she does have a bendy wire body, kind of like Gumby or just that Lika Chan type uh, body, I would say. She got this amazing set of gloves. You could sell this as real stockings, uh, fishnets. Uh, she comes with a stand, a lunch pail, and nice long red hair. And this is called Barbie as Poison Ivy. If you guys are looking for this, uh, she was made. What year she was made? I'm just not prepared today. I don't know. Oh, she was based off of the bar, the uh, Poison Ivy cartoon series that used to be on, on uh, TV. That it used to be a, a cartoon series, I think. I don't know. I ordered this from Amazon, by the way. No, and and uh, Scooby-Doo dolls came from uh, eBay. This one came from Amazon. Oh, very, very cute. Loving the fishnet stockings. Loving the real costume material. Just something that they don't do. Just keep that in mind that today's superheroes are all molded on everything. I think Mego started to make um, costumes for their dolls. They're not doing molded on as far as I know right now. But they probably will switch eventually. So this is a beautiful redhead poison ivy doll with her clear straps and her bendy wire body. Her whole body's that poseable bendy wire stuff. And she comes with her doll stand too. She does come with a doll stand that way you can display her and all of her glory. I think she's gorgeous. I would highly recommend her. Next we have Wonder Woman Barbie, which is also the same kind of type of thing. This is a bendy wire Wonder Woman, okay? What it means bendy wire is all this is rubber. And they have a wire in the inside that way you could pose them in different poses. And she has a new inbox. She comes with her classic uh, Wonder Woman thing. It's all glittery. It's pretty. Uh, Barbie really did go all out with this girl. I mean, she's very reminiscent of the Mego Wonder Woman, I think. Especially with this outfit and the cuffs. Uh, this is a Mattel Barbie doll. Barbie has Wonder Woman. So, she's gorgeous. She goes, love, love, love her. She got the stitching on the back seat. Something that they don't do no more is the, sti is the stitching, which is really nice. I mean, the costume is glittery. It's great. In today's Wonder Woman, I think they have balled on everything. But back in the day, you guys, they actually created a costume in the likeness of the character, which is really, really cool. And this is Barbie as Wonder Woman. She's very, very gorgeous. I would recommend her. This is really nice from Amazon also. And we have uh, Lika Chain, which I was so excited to get her. She came all the way from Japan, you guys. Or China, I think Japan. But she's a princess Lika Chain, and she is gorgeous with this long flowing hair. She's like a hair styling doll, I guess you could say. She's got clippies. She's got um, combs and like hair accessories and jewelry. I wish that uh, Lika Chain was sold in the States so we, would, we didn't have to order these online. But she is gorgeous. Like this hair is so long. It's a very, very much Rapunzel. Uh, if you guys can read Japanese, though, let me know what that says. I really don't know. Uh, this is Lika Chain by Tommy. Tommy Toys also makes Transformers. I heard from somebody. I think they said that they make Transformers. And it's the back of the box with the accessory check right here. And she holds everything, which is great. And these are the, all the Lika Chains that are available right now. And these are made by Tommy, a Tony. Takara, Tommy, uh, and stuff like that. So, very, very cute. And again, Lika Chain has the bendy wire arms. So, just keep that in mind if you're not really a fan of the wire being in, in the inside. She doesn't, she has that type of posability, but she is very, very cute. Very, very nice. Lika Chain. And we have, I found this on eBay, you guys. Um, This is a Dreamtime Ariel, which is really, really great. She's got a stuffed animal body, so she's nice and cuddly and soft, and she's got the sleeping eyes. They did this with Barbie one time, I think, once or twice. Like they gave Barbie a plush body with um, color-changing eyes. Uh, there's her water with her sponge. She's got a cute little dress with pajamas, and she's called Dreamtime Ariel. This was made by uh, Disney and Mattel, of course, collaborated. 
when Mattel used to make uh, Disney princesses a long time ago. You can see there's the Mattel logo in the corner. Mattel used to do a really good job. This is the very 2000s Ariel face. This was a bad time for Ariel, in my opinion. The 2000s were like, she was just really skinny faced uh, in 2000, definitely. But nonetheless, you gotta, she is cute. She is Ariel. She's a gorgeous. Isn't she cute? Let me know in the comments down below which one's your favorite. Next, we have this action figure. Now, I don't really buy action figures too much, but she was cool. And this is from, what is this from? It says the company, um, Figure Toys Company. And it's a lot better than ClassicTVToys.com. It's a Figures Toy Company, um, Starfire, right? Starfire, yeah. And she's got this long, gorgeous hair. She's really, really pretty. Very reminiscent of Storm with the white eyes. This is a DC, uh, comics girl i think i have a lot of dc figures i don't have a lot of like marvel too much i don't think yeah most of my barbies too are dc figures also i mean she is gorgeous and they even had this encasing in this this is good quality you guys this is what i'm talking about like class classic tv toys.com didn't do this but figures toy company does and they actually tag it on the top it says figures toy company and they make really cool retro figures they're, this is an amazing site. I've shopped with them before, you guys, and they have really nice quality stuff. So I would recommend uh, Figures Toy Company to anybody versus ClassicTVToys.com. I just feel like they're just better quality in general. They have a Mego style figure, definitely. She's she's about the size of my hand. She's very small, but she's very cute at the same time. This hair is gorgeous. She's very, very creepy and very cool. We love the Titans, right? Very, very nice doll. So... Let me know what you guys think about this haul and just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.